Hi guys, Shaquita from Crown Me Quita and welcome to my Christmas Eve vlog. Today I'm just going to be bringing you guys along on, you're just going to be spending a day with me and my family. You get a peek into our Christmas Eve traditions and how we're going to be spending this day making new memories and just enjoying each other's company. All right, so we're about to run a few errands and I'm going to bring you along. But first, you know I got to slide the intro in right here. Hi guys, it's Christmas Eve and we out here shopping because we want to, not because we have to. There's a difference. We are back home. We ran out for some last minute things. Um, and I really don't want to call it last minute shopping because I told myself last year that I'm done with last minute shopping. I don't want to be out the week of doing any necessary shopping. So like I said earlier, we were out because we wanted to be, not because we needed to be. So we wanted to get some little stocking stuffers for my husband. And if we didn't find anything, we would have been a-okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to show y'all a little haul of some of the things I picked up. Um, we're having, so later on, you'll see, we're having a DIY um, Christmas Eve pajama photo shoot. And I wanted to get a prop for us to hold up in our photo shoot. And so I went to my favorite store, you guessed it, Dollar Tree, and I found this little cute thing. So it's going to serve as a backdrop in our photo shoot, but also I can use it as a part of my Christmas decor. I'm always excited when I can do that. Recycle things that get more than one use. So we just uh, picked up some things for my husband. Sucking from Dollar Tree. Because if you know him, he loves to try new snacks. He loves Slim Jim's beef jerky and he do not like no chap lips. He stay with some chapstick and he like the best of the best chapstick. So, I'm going to go ahead and start getting myself ready for my photo shoot and setting up the backdrop. And then I'll come back to you when it's time for it to go down. Okay? So, these are the pajamas that we'll be wearing in our DIY Christmas Eve pajama photo shoot. I wanted to go with a green prop to pull out the green in the pajamas. I felt like anything red would have just been given too much red. The backdrop is going to be solid black and we'll likely put on either black socks or funky Christmas socks. The goal is for the pajamas to be the statement piece and for our personalities to just shine. Um, really, we're just trying to enjoy each other's company in front of the camera in order to capture some great memories. Here is the behind the scenes footage of our photo shoot. Literally the entire backdrop, including the fabric that's hanging, came from Amazon. My ring light was a gift from my husband for Mother's Day from Best Buy. The prop came from the Dollar Tree. And of course, this is the camera that my husband bought me for my birthday. Let's get into it. You guys, I forgot to bring you along on the journey, but we just wrapped up our DIY Christmas pajama photo shoot. As you can see, this is some behind the scenes footage. Say hi, say hi you guys. What up though? So now we're about to make some <laughs> DIY hot cocoa bombs and then we're gonna sit down and watch a Christmas movie and do our Christmas Eve gifts. All right, so here are our ingredients. And, are you ready? Oh, wait. Oh, here are our ingredients. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut the camera. At this point, we got the melting wafers in a microwave safe bowl and a tablespoon of avocado oil because we don't use vegetable oil. And we're going to warm this up in the microwave in 15 second intervals, meaning warm it up for 15 seconds, stop it, stir it. Warm it up for 15 seconds, stop it, stir it. Warm it up for 15 seconds, stop it, stir it. So on and so forth until the chocolate is melted, okay? 
This is what our chocolate looking like so far. We're gonna warm it up for about 15 more seconds before we put it in our molds. So now we're filling the molds. No, it's gonna be in the fridge for five minutes. That's why you can't put too much chocolate. But you pour it out. That's, yeah, that's so why don't, oh, okay. That's the key, pour it out. The key is to fill the mold and then spread it along the entire base of the mold and then let the excess chocolate drizzle back into the bowl. Then we're gonna refrigerate it for five minutes so it can solidify. And it can't be too thick because if it, it's only in the fridge for five minutes. Yeah, it'll so. take too long. All right, so at this point, we're ready to move the first half of the ball from the mold. We took the liberty of doing one already. You do that by simply popping the mold inside out gently. Voila. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're ready to fill the bomb. So Bria's placing one teaspoon of hot cocoa powder in just three of the halves. Then she's gonna follow behind with a one candy cane kiss in each bomb. Hopefully these bits. Uh, and a few marshmallows. You can always add marshmallows at the end too if yeah. it's not. But the beauty is watching it. The beauty is gonna be watching the bomb explode in your hot milk. We're gonna put all three cups in the microwave. Oh, Talk so about microwave safe. Crack they have crack. microwave safe. Okay, I'm about to so at this point we had to get a microwave safe plate which they lie about being microwave safe. Cap. Warm it up so the plate can get hot and then take the bomb, that half of the bombs, place it on the plate in order oh, to melt the see. edge. Just put it up there. And let it sit for, Boom. oh! It's going fast? Okay, yeah. okay, 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 pick it up, pick it up. What? Dang, that went fast. This is like a glue? Yep. Okay. Dang, that ain't no joke, you feel mm -mm. me? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll do it. Now we're decorating, just swirling the icing. I want to do one. You can do that. That's ugly. You can. Okay, here, just record from that side. Can I do last one? Yep. And now hold on, we gotta sprinkle some sugar crystals on it. You don't want sugar crystals? I do. We'll put them in the refrigerator until our milk is ready. And the white icing can solidify. We're warming up our milk to get it ready for our hot cocoa bombs. I'm using oat milk because I don't drink no cow milk. Deja and Brie are using regular milk. And I'm using oat milk. It looks just like milk, don't it? Here's done with his bomb. Here, record what? your process. Record your process. <laughs> Mason, hey. put your candy cane. It's paper. All right, so now Bria's doing her bomb. Ooh, the milk kind of hot. It's supposed to be. Whoa. That's so cute. Now imagine had you had more marshmallows in it. Right. Wow. Ooh, stare with the other hand, I can't see. Okay. So this is what we were trying to do on the box. And this is how it came out. I say that we did an excellent job. Mission accomplished. So here is my hot cocoa bomb. And let me drop it in the milk. That's so cute. So now I'm gonna stare with my candy cane. All right, the moment of truth. Time for the first taste. Ooh, burnt my tongue, but. <laughs> That is good. So I put some extra candy cane kisses in mine and I have a peppermint stick in it. And normally I don't like hot cocoa, but this hot cocoa is giving what's supposed to be gay, okay? I give it a 10 out of 10. And let me go sit down and watch my Christmas movie with my family. So we are watching uh, Madea's family Christmas. What is the name of this movie we're watching? Madea. Madea's Christmas. And the kids are about to open their uh, Christmas Eve gift, which is a tradition for us. So let me flip the camera. So this is our Christmas Eve tree. This is where I put the Christmas Eve gift. Nope. How y'all know who's the who? Did y'all check the tag? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait, don't Wait, say Wait, what Bria. do you think it is? Bria, don't say Bria. I thought it was a morning. Bria, don't say anything, all right? Okay. Y'all should turn back to back. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's Wait. Wait a minute. Oh. Hey, yes, sir. Wait, because I was actually going out. I was really going to put this on my Christmas list. I 
things have to go around your TV, and so there's the sound of the TV will be connected to the lights. Really? And so they'll like be, they'll react to the sound coming out of your TV. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yes, yeah. thank you. All right, and back to our Christmas movie, Madea's Family Christmas. <laughs> Christmas 2022 up in this mug. Do it look like a 20? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything. Right. We need Christmas music. Yeah. I don't want football. <laughs> Before y'all go, let's talk about what I actually wore on Christmas Day. The statement piece was this bag that my husband bought me for Christmas and the purpose was comfort. Therefore, I threw on my cream Adidas velour tracksuit to bring out the cream in the bag and my long denim trench coat to bring out the denim in the bag. Therefore, resulting in this look. Oh, and one more thing. I know this was supposed to be the 12 days of Vlogmas video series, but it done dropped from 12 to 8 and here's why. Number one, your girl decided to show herself some grace. And number two, sometimes I get caught up in making things go according to my plan. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to practice being okay when things don't go according to my plan. Because y'all, that's also known as perfectionism. So cheers to successfully completing Vlogmas and doing better than I did last year. And now that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But remember, adjust your crowns because royalty looks good on you. Happy YouTubing. Bye now.